Hey guys, so you're looking to make really good quality videos, but you don't have the right camera to do so. In this video, I will be showing you guys the tips that I use to get footage like this coming out of my 11 year old Canon Rebel T3i camera. Now tip number one is quality settings. This one is pretty self-explanatory. To get the best quality video out of your camera, you have to turn the resolution up to the highest that your camera supports. Most phones that were released newer than 2016 actually supports recording at up to 4K resolution. And here you can actually see the iPhone 6S doing that. Now tip number two is to change your styling settings. If your camera has styling settings like this Canon camera has, you want to change it from the default settings to what I'm about to tell you. First of all, if you can change the amount of sharpness in these styling settings, what you want to do is turn the sharpness all the way to the lowest. Now, at this point, you might be confused because this video is dedicated to getting the best quality video out of your camera possible. Why am I turning down the sharpness? Well, there's a difference between actual sharpness and digital sharpening. Actual sharpness is how much detail and clarity a certain video clip has. Now, digital sharpness attempts to increase the perceived amount of detail by increasing the contrast around fine edges in a video clip, which looks really bad and looks more like a filter than anything else. If you can, decrease the contrast as well because the contrast just decreases the dynamic range, which crushes the darks and clips the highlights. So it's better to turn it down just to be safe. Now number three is to change your camera settings, such as your ISO, your aperture, and your shutter speed. Usually, your shutter speed should be the same or double of the frame rate that you're recording at, which means that if you're recording a 30 FPS video, you may want to set your shutter speed to 60, and your aperture should be as low as possible for those blurry backgrounds in your A-roll and B-roll videos. Normally, when you turn up the ISO on your camera, you are making the sensor on your camera camera more sensitive to light, but doing that makes it more sensitive to noise as well, and noise is something that you don't want in most cases. Which is why you should try and get your ISO to as low as you can to minimize the amount of noise in your image. And the easiest way to do that is to just film where there's lots of light, such as in front of a window for example. Or you could also get some cheap, well-rated studio lights for your videos. And now we're going to tackle things you should do in post-production to make your video look better. Now number one is color grading. Color grading can make a really dull looking video clip look really vibrant and colorful. And most video editing programs have at least basic color fixing tools, such as brightness, contrast, and saturation. And you can fine tune the colors in your video to the way you want them to be. The second thing that you can do in post-production to make your video look better is to slightly sharpen your videos in your video editor instead of in your camera. If you turn up the sharpness in your camera, it looks more like a filter than anything else. And adding a teeny tiny bit of sharpness in the video editor allows you to fine-tune the amount of digital sharpness to overall improve the perceived sharpness in a video without making it look like some sort of filter. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>